And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. In the red corner, Chi Yun taking on. In the blue, Kosuke Komiyama. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's get into this. So, Chi Yun's getting the height advantage by only one centimeter, 172 to 171, but he's a lot younger at 20. That's nine years younger than uh, Kamiyama, who's 29. Mm, that's no right, yeah, and you'll see him from uh, Kamiyama, real interesting style. He's got a traditional karate background. And really makes use of it. And, oh, there's a spinning kick right there. In his matchups, there's a lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun, lots of spinning early. Chi Yun, of course, is known as the Flying Knee King, so I'm expecting to see a few of those. Yeah, Chi Yun is more of a traditional style um, puncher kicker. But uh, so it'll be interesting. This stylistically should be a really interesting matchup. Well, no switching at the moment, both orthodox. And it uh, looks like Chi Yun's just establishing the range a little bit and just a little bit fidgety, seeing what he can uh, make Kamiyama do. Yeah, the thing with a guy like Kumiyama who uses lots of um, unorthodox techniques, lots of long spinning kicks and front kicks, um, is it's very hard to establish any sort of range to get in there and do some work. You know, you've got to contend with um, these super long strikes that come at odd angles, and so it's really difficult to get your own rhythm and range down. What I like about Kumiyama's style is, oh, nice little switch there, just going uh, southpaw. But he's very comfortable with the lead hand low and just floating that jab. And that can be quite difficult because you get used to seeing jabs up high and then they're down low. You're having to look in more areas. It's tricky. Yes. Nope, exactly. Yep, it draws your attention low and then all of a sudden a uh, kick or an overhand comes. And so he does it intentionally. It's not just bad for him, he likes it. And it lowers his center of gravity so he can throw those dynamic kicks. He does lots of switching going on here. He's really, really showing a, a, a lot of versatility and Chi Yun doesn't seem to be doing too much here, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, well, and Chi Yun, no pushover at all. Um, <clears throat> 27 wins, 14 KOs, or uh, sorry, 21 wins, 6 KOs. But, uh, you know, yeah, to use his more traditional style, he's going to have to put his back on the ropes. Yeah, if I'm going to be honest, I think Chi Yun needs to start chucking some doubles and some triples with that jab. Maybe float it a little bit. Just see what Kamiyama is going to do and start looking for opportunities. Ooh. A little bit of a low blow there, but they're back to it right away. Okay, a little bit better here from Chi Yun. Yeah, well, he may have to absorb um, a strike if he can get inside. Oh, oh, nice rush. He flicked a few jabs out, created an opportunity. Bang, down the pipe with the right. Exactly what you should be doing. Oh, beautiful. Yep, and he rushed in, he picked a good moment. And you know, Kosuke was either in the air at the moment or his feet were set and couldn't move. Beautiful, beautiful. Now Kamiyama's got to stop being linear, just going to fall in the back. He's got to use some lateral movement. He knows he's got a tricky customer now. Yep, it doesn't look like he's um, really suffering any damage from the blow, but it was about a clean, as clean of a knockdown as you could ask for. Yeah, he seems to be fine. It was a nice flash knockdown, but a wake-up call. Wow, he just lunges in so nicely off that left hook to the right hand. And uh, coming in, eating some more punches there as well. Oh, even an uppercut. Very, very short, very tight combination. Man, both these guys showed some great footwork early in the match. And uh, a <coughs> beautiful knockdown there from Chi Yun, fighter in the red. A wonderful round. I've got to say, that round passed very fast for me. Yes. I was enjoying watching that. And lovely, uh, lovely sportsmanship afterwards. Mm. Oh, cheeky knee there. Oh, man, yep. I didn't see that at the time. Ugh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough call kind of as he's moving forward and a little, little bit cheeky though for sure. Yeah, I think, um, I think he realized he was going that way anyway and thought, well, let's put a little something behind it. But, um, but it didn't do any damage, that's the main thing. Yeah, well, um, I saw it. Chi Yun now kind of knows these, these punch, uh, these rushes behind the jab um, can work and throw Kamiyama off. So Kamiyama's going to have to Sinai! switch his game plan up a little Sinai! bit here. Maybe he's going to have to get in the trenches and kind of engage at a range that he um, you know, doesn't prefer. I think so. Now you know, the options, well, with a varied skill set like Kamiyama has, you know, you get a wider amount of options at times like this. I would look to make it ugly. 
So he's got a great low kick too, um, but he's got to set it up with his hands, otherwise Chiyun can just slip back down. Chiyun, you know, has kind of sh showing his hand a little bit too, and he's <clears throat> doing more and more of these sort of punch rushes, and he needs to, he needs to switch that up a little bit too, or, or change the rhythm, or add some extra motion. Absolutely. You know, Kamiyama done the right thing there, step back, and Chiyun looks so telegraphed. He's, uh, it was not a good look. Ooh, that's a powerful kick to yeah, it now. Great exchanges. Nice nice. Nice. It's getting a little chip. They're very good sportsmen. They're very nice to each other, but they are kind of getting in there, aren't yeah. they? Let's get a little heated. Yep, Komiyama uh, you know, clearly losing that first round, knowing that he's got some ground to make up. And also eating that knee while he was on his butt, I'm sure, uh, didn't make him too happy. <laughs> I think that stays with you for a little while. We've seen the referees get involved quite a lot tonight so far, so it'd be nice to mm. not see too much more. Yeah, no, these guys are fighting real clean and they're following the directions um, really well from the referee. Ooh, cheeky little left hook on the inside there, coming on the edit well. Ooh, just catching yeah, great the kick. Punch in front of I'd like to see. You know, Chi Yun's used that tactic now, and Kamiyama's a lot more cautious about it. I'd like to see more angles now, rather than just going straight forward. Mm -hmm. just, a, just a few more angles now. Example, change the position. If he wants to shut the footwork down even more, uh, he could throw some low kicks, especially to the inside of that lead leg, like he did just there. Oh, I think you called it there, mate. And Kamiyama had a, a nice little right hand himself, which Chi Yun ate very well, but he's got to be cautious of that. Got to be cautious, like he's looking for it again. Mm. Yep, if he can, can somehow uh, use that to his, his advantage or get a, a different feint or set up a different technique. And then you gotta, yeah, make sure that you just don't go back to the same thing every time. Uh, there's nothing wrong with just uh, chucking a jab out of the feint, stepping to the side and engaging off the angle. Sure. Nothing wrong with it. And he clearly has the hand speed to pull that off. Yeah, he's got great hand speed. Oh, very good. Very good. Mm. So Kamiyama really pulling some tools out of the toolbox there and he's using a lot more variety now. Yep, he's got he's got great mid kicks. Um, if you can follow find a technique to, to follow up with, um, it'll be really in his favor. Not just finishing with the mid kick, but following up with some punches and another kick downstairs. Kiyun can't let too many of these kicks go unanswered. Look, he's getting picked off. He's got to answer them. Otherwise, guess what? Kamiyama's gonna chuck more. Yep. Yep. These guys are having a real technical battle here. It's great to watch them, the strategy they're, they're both trying to do. Looks like his eye on the left side of Chi Yun is a little bit puffy. Mm. That might cause an issue going into this last round. Kobe Yama doing a good job in that round of getting a little momentum back. Pretty, pretty close round, but I think those mid kicks are probably the outstanding, more, more of an outstanding technique in that round. I could easily make uh, an argument for Kamiyama taking that second round over to you, but it was tight, it was tight. Is everything to fight for going into this third? This is going to make things much more interesting. You well, know, exactly, yeah. Kamiyama's got to assume that he's still behind there from that knockdown in the first round. So he's going to have to make something big happen here so he can advance to the next round of the tournament. Very Kamiyama. Yeah, both these guys are so well conditioned. Mm. Nasi. Nasi. I think that eye is really bothering him on that yeah, right he side. Does have a swing in the way. And look, Kamiyama went straight for it with a jab. There was some up. Yes, mm. And hooks. Mm. Here we go. Now you can just see him hit the ground with his feet, getting some big torque on that hook. So you're doing it, you know, get in the firefight when he needs to. Didn't let himself get pushed back too much, and then he threw some strikes back. Mm. Uh, absolutely, you can't allow Kamiyama to, to get too many free shots off of that response. Mm. He's got to be willing to get in the center to get this guy, because this guy knows this is his only opportunity. He's going for it. Wow. Look at this now. Yeah, the combos aren't quite as clean as Tunes, but he's got a ton of power. Absolutely. And he's, he's still so fresh, he's got a lot of gas in the tank, and he's here to use it. Look at this. Yeah, wow. Well. has got to move. He's got yes. to move out of there. Doesn't want to be there right now. Mm, good spot, and good shift of the momentum. Clearly into Kamiyama's corner here now. Absolutely. 
beautiful shot variety too, and just the way he slips and turns off, very nice. He's really found his range. Yeah, well, he's just forcing Chiyun. He's taking the jab away completely from Chiyun. He's having to you know, you know, tighten his guard up so much that there's just no opportunity for him to use that you know, quick jab to set up his combinations. Absolutely. The momentum of the fight has completely changed here. And Chiyun knows he's got to start doing more now. But you can see it. He doesn't want to take, take the risk. And then he's got to make sure he's still got a minute and a half left to go here. And he used a lot of energy in that first stanza there in the room. So he needs to make sure that he moves here, resets a little bit, and gets his wind back, and doesn't eat too many blows while he's doing yeah, His mouth is open, he's breathing heavy. If he gets caught with his mouth open like that, it's going to hurt. He needs to tuck his head down, look through his eyebrows a bit more. Yes. If he's going to go toe-toe -to like that. Yeah, he's doing a great job of keeping him stuck on his back foot, though. Yeah. One minute to go. And I think Chi Yun needs to re-establish himself a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he could have gone uh, with Kamiyama's real deep, wide karate stance. Chi Yun could have done some uh, inside low kicks early on to um, upset his balance, but he didn't really go there. He's opted to go with the hands. Uh, Ooh, unfortunate for him, Kamiyama's really turning it up with his hands. Lovely uh, punch right from Chi Yun earlier there. Just fainting with the uppercut and catching the hook. He tried yeah. it again then, not a successful Kamiyama's adapted quite well. Yeah. Nice slip. Now 20 seconds left. Oh, Kimun feeling um, the wind back under his sails now. Absolutely. He, wants to he ate it well, but my god, that was a big kick. Outstanding technique, and that is right there for the judges to see as well. A shuddering blow. The last 10 seconds, what the judges remember the most, and I think that's, mm. that stands out the most. Wow, beautiful. Oh, yes. In the last 20, 10 seconds, and Kamiyama probably that kick stole that. So we're just gonna have to see how they see it here. I mean, I think the knockdown the first round is gonna play the biggest part. Um, but a breath of fresh air with some of the fights we've seen tonight. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's, it's so fun to watch these different styles, and how they meet in the ring, and how each practitioner makes some use their uh, techniques. Just, yeah, that fight just flew by for them because it was so good and so interesting. Absolutely. I think Chi Yun needs to think, okay, rushing forward like that behind grab was a great thing, but he needs to go back to the gym to find some more variety. Um, here we go. That eye of his. I wouldn't want to be wearing that in the morning. You are absolutely right. Judges, Serizawa, 29-27, Aka Yuchi. Otherwise, I think we would have seen the fourth round, which I would have loved to have seen. I don't think his eye would have, but I would love to have seen it. You know, you are right, man. Just, yeah, great performance for both of these Yeah, you can always see, you can see that in the K1 ring. That's true. It's a special talk. Here we go. Let's just take a little look here. Do you know, the more times I see that, blood, the more I think, the more intention there than we initially <laughs> thought. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, well, a little bit of dirty pool, but Kamiyama, you know, just um, didn't let it fluster. No, he, didn't. he took it well. They were quite friendly at the end of that round, surprisingly. Yeah. Well, there you have it, the K1 World Grand Prix 2016. So, uh, uh, and there you have it, the K1 World Grand Prix 2006 in Japan, K1 65 kilogram World Tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium, the second gymnasium. We will see you uh, next time.